All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to program the EGS ISN, the DME ISN, and the vehicle's VIN number into this CAS3 module using the Ortel IM508 or 608, and this is very important, the Ortel XP400 Pro. First step is you want to hit Emo because we're going to be working with the CAS and that's part of the immobilizer system. You want to accept their terms, otherwise, you won't be able to use it. And in this case, we're going to work on our BMW. So we're going to click on BMW and hit OK because it thinks is you want to connect to the car. Since we're working on the bench, we don't need to do that. So just hit OK. Next step is you're going to hit ECU Renew. And now we're going to go into Immobilizer Control Unit. Again, we're working with the CAS. And in this case, it is a CAS 3. If you're not sure what you have, you grab the casing of your CAS, and it's going to tell you on this little sticker right here, you'll see it, what it is. This is a CAS 3. There's CAS 1, CAS 2, CAS 4. FEM is for the newer BMWs. So we're going to hit on CAS 3. And now you're going to need your chip number. How you get your chip number? It's inside the CAS on the board. You'll see this is your chip. And you'll see right in the middle is going to give you the chip number. Can you see it? see it yeah, yeah. okay all right so in our case it's a ol 15y oh, let me move this out of the way okay and now we want to hit ecu operations and uh it says please follow the instructions but there are no instructions here so i don't know why they're telling you that just oh there they are they, they took a minute to come up now in order to be able to read the EEPROM, you have to be connected to your CAS. So how do you do that? You have this APA109 right here that connects to your XP400. And then the wires, you have to solder that to your CAS. How do you know where to solder the wires? Click this little blue button right here. You can click that and it'll make it nice and big. There, there we go. Okay, and down here they'll show you a picture. Here's your connector, the AP109, and you can see all the wires. All the wires are labeled. They're labeled on here, they're labeled on here, so you know which wire is which. All right, so then each wire goes to one of the points on your CAS, and this little picture right here will show you exactly where to solder your wires. So why don't you guys go ahead and do that and then when we come back we'll continue on. So after you've soldered all your wires you're ready to read the EEPROM. Just when you're soldering this just be careful because all these little points are so tiny you don't want to solder two together or mess it all up. So but once you've all done with that just hit read EEPROM. So it'll take about well, probably less than a minute for to read the EEPROM. It doesn't take long at all. You can see it's reading because it's flesh. I think it stopped. Huh? Did you catch the flashing? Yeah, yeah there it is. Now, buddy. Okay. Yeah, buddy. All right. So now you have to save the file that it just read. So as you guys can see, I got other files. I got to go in there and delete these files. But um, So I don't get myself confused. What I'm going to do is put a number in the beginning of the file name. So that way I know that's the file I'm working with today. So I'm going to pick number... No, not a hashtag. I don't want a hashtag. Hold on. Really? I'm going to pick a number two. 
all right so two and then there's the name so we're gonna, I'm gonna hit save all right so that file is saved so now we're gonna hit OK and now we're gonna do the same thing with the flash so we're gonna read flash and this takes a little bit longer to read so once we start seeing that blue bar we might pause and come back because it takes a little bit longer okay so we'll let that read and then we'll come back and go on to the next step alrighty so now we're all done now we're gonna save it again what I'm gonna do is put a number in the beginning of the file name and again number two so that way I know that's the one I'm working with today so I'm gonna hit save all done good job hit OK now we're gonna hit escape because we're done with this for now so we're gonna hit escape now you're gonna hit renew because now we have to rewrite the file we're gonna change some information in it so this pretty much will tell you the same thing that I'm gonna tell you so I'm not gonna bore you by reading that you can read it on your own if you like but now at the bottom is very important this is the original key of the vehicle has expired and it's necessary to learn the new key to start the vehicle I believe that's if you're using a, a used DME yes okay so then you want to do that and then after you're finished with everything you put everything back in the car it's a good idea to go ahead and erase all the codes that are in it before you try to start it and also you want to synchronize the DME okay keep that in mind so now we're going to you want to synchronize it to the cast the DME to the cast correct so now we're going to hit OK and now we got to pick the file that we just saved. we're going to use the EEPROM file so now we put a 2 in front of the name and it's the EEPROM so that's the file that I want so we're going to hit OK here's where you're going to rewrite all the information now to you're going to need your megahertz the EGS ISN the cars VIN and the DME ISN we're going to have a video to show you how to get that information but for now what we're going to do is we're going to write all the information that we need in here and then we'll go on to the next step okay so we already finished uh, writing all the information on the vehicle that we have and the DME that we have and everything this is what we need to be in the cast so we're going to hit OK and now we have to save this new file so here it is again it's going to have the two in front of it so because that's the same file number the only thing is it just put in the at the end of it renew so you just remember that when you go on ahead you need the EEPROM renew so you're going to save that file save successfully and now we hit OK and now is this thing does give you a lot of instructions so now it's telling you now you have to write it you save you change the information in the file now you gotta take that file and put it back in the cast so we're gonna hit OK and we're gonna go back to ECU operations hit OK again and now we're gonna write the EEPROM so that file that you just went and changed all that information in you're going to take that file and put it back in the EEPROM so now we need to find here it is 2 cast 3 EEPROM renew that's the one that we need and we're going to hit OK alright this might take a minute let's see what it does alright so now it's going to write it you'll see the XP400 working hard over here that was pretty quick alright that's it alright so now after you've done writing the EEPROM you're finished your cast is ready to go put it all back together desolder the wires put it all back together put it in the car don't forget to sync the DME in the cast and erase all the codes in there before you start it and also if you're using a, a used DME you're going to have to do the key and we will have a video on how to do the key as well alright see you next time